Hello, my name is Michaela Kandari. In this video, I will be providing a demonstration on how I create multi-track videos. Creating multi-tracks has been a hobby of mine for a couple years now. I used the Acapella app until about six to seven months ago when I upgraded to the equipment and programs that I will be showing you today. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using the following equipment. My laptop, a Blue Yeti microphone, a pair of headphones, Logic Pro, Final Cut Pro, the webcam on my Mac to record the multi-track videos, but I'll be using a GoPro to show behind the scenes footage, and a ring light. For demonstration purposes, I will be recording a short excerpt from duet number 49 in the Closet method. First, I open Logic Pro and select how many tracks I'm recording. Since this is a duet, I selected two. Then I make sure the tempo and time signature are accurate. I think 120 is a good tempo for this, but I'm going to change 44 to 24. I also make sure I add a count in, and I usually make it a four bar count in. This way I have time to get settled and internalize the tempo before it starts recording. I make sure the metronome is on, and for this project, I'm going to add it as a track. This way, I can export the audio with the click for you all to hear as well. Note, this is not something I usually do, since the audio click happens through the headphones. I usually record the lowest part first, but that is personal preference. After I record, I listen back, and if I'm happy with what I hear, I'll move on to a different part. Note, you can always go back later and re-record as needed. Now I'm going to record the first part. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to play a wrong note in measure 5. This way I can show you how I can quickly edit a small error. Now that I've recorded the first part, my first priority is to correct that wrong note in measure 5. To do this, I put the cursor on measure 5, play the correct note, stop recording, then make sure the patch blends well with the original audio. If there are any pops, the fade tool can help eliminate that. Once I'm happy with both parts, I will adjust the volume levels to achieve the best balance. Once I'm done making any edits, I will add the smallest touch of reverb to liven up the audio. I always want it to sound natural, so my two go-to settings are the default room or big clean room. Nothing too drastic like cathedral or unknown abyss. Note that before I export this file, I'm going to mute the click track so the final product does not have the metronome along with it. Now that the audio file is exported, it's time to do the video. I actually do this by playing along to the audio I already have. I originally started doing this because I come home from work, work on the audio little by little throughout the week, then do the video filming on the weekend. Now, in addition to that, I see that this method saves time and also resources such as storage space, camera batteries, etc. Then I go back into Logic and click on Add a Track. This is so I can hear the count off along with the recorded audio. Now I set up where I want to record. For me, this is typically against a neutral background. I also set up a ring light because I do not have a lot of natural light in this area. Once I'm ready, I hit record on the camera, then hit record in Logic. Again, I'm only using Logic so I can have that intro click and play along with the audio I've already recorded. Once I do this for all of the involved parts, I import the audio and videos into a new project in Final Cut Pro. I add the audio file first, then sync the videos to it, mute the videos, and then adjust how I want the videos presented on the screen.
And here's the final product. If you would like to see more multi-track content from me, feel free to check out my social media accounts listed here. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send me a message or leave a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching.